Is salt bad for you? Does the salt really increase your blood pressure and you need to avoid it? Oh no, food doesn't taste good without salt. Is there any good salt that's okay to consume and to make foods tasty? Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi. In this video, we'll talk about what salt is, if and why you need some salt, how much salt you should consume a day, and good alternative to salt. First, what is salt? Do we need salt in our diet? Salt is a crystalline mineral composed of sodium chloride, NaCl, as you remember from the chemistry class, containing about 40% sodium and 60% chloride. As much as you hear that salt is bad for your health, especially for your blood pressure, you do need sodium and chloride. Why? It's because sodium and chloride are electrolytes for your body and eyes, helping your brain and eyes nerve cells to send electrical impulses for you to see. By the way, besides sodium and chloride, the electrolytes in human body also include potassium, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate, and phosphate. All these electrolytes work together harmoniously and regulate nerve and muscle function, hydrate the body, balance blood pressure, and help rebuild damaged tissue. These functions are essential for your body to run efficiently and for your eyesight and healthy eyes. Thus, we do need salt, but how much do we need and what's the best type of salt? Eating salt can raise the amount of sodium in your bloodstream and destroy the delicate balance of electrolytes, reducing the ability of your kidneys to remove the water. The result is a high blood pressure due to extra fluid and extra strain on the blood vessels leading to the kidneys. And you learned from my previous video that high blood pressure can lead to complicated health issues and eye diseases such as glaucoma and even macular degeneration. Because too much sodium can result in health complications, the American Heart Association came up with a recommendation. No more than 2300 milligrams a day and an ideal limit of no more than 1500 milligrams per day for most adults, especially for those people with high blood pressure. They recommend even cutting down to 1000 milligrams a day to improve blood pressure and heart health. To put this daily requirement in perspective, one quarter teaspoon of most commonly used salt, meaning table salt, contains 590, almost 600 milligrams of sodium. They say if you eat out once a week, then you probably consume enough salt for the whole week. Even the salad, which is considered to be healthy, contains a lot of sodium unless you order the dressing on the side and try not to use much. High sodium foods you want to avoid include smoked, cured, salted, or canned meat, fish or poultry including bacon, cold cuts, packaged lunch meat, ham, hot dogs, sausage, sardines, caviar, and anchovies, frozen breaded meats and dinners such as burritos, fried chicken, and pizza, and entrees such as ravioli, spam, and chili, salted nuts or marinated olives, canned beans and soups with salt added. Common symptoms of excess sodium include great thirst, water retention, extremely salty sweat, elevated blood pressure, and dry skin. Next, let's talk about the types of salt. Which type of salt is better? Nowadays, there are quite a few different types of salt in the market. Examples are table salt, which most people use for seasoning, sea salt, Celtic sea salt, Himalayan, pink salt, Malden salt, kosher salt, black Hawaiian salt, etc. All of these are sodium chloride, meaning they contain sodium and chloride. Table salt, which is used most commonly, is heavily processed to remove impurities and trace minerals, and usually treated with an additive to keep from clumping. Therefore, there is hardly no nutrition value to speak of except ton of sodium. Other types of salts are not usually processed, thus provide more minerals, but still contain large amount of sodium. The amount of minerals contained in these different types of salt varies. As you can see in the table, so is the taste. My least favorite salt is table salt because it's heavily processed. I don't even remember when was the last time I used it at home or at a restaurant. My favorite salt is Celtic sea salt, as it contains less sodium and good amount of minerals. Healthier alternative to salt. 
you do need some sodium, hopefully from non-processed salt. However, if you want to minimize the amount of sodium in your bloodstream, then you could try using alternative ways to season the foods and obtain minerals at the same time. Freshly squeezed lemon juice or spices or even sea vegetable powders can be used instead of salt. These alternative options might provide you the taste you want and also some vitamins and minerals at the same time. Next, we'll briefly talk about where else you can get sodium. Healthy source of sodium. Did you know some vegetables contain healthy low amount of sodium? These vegetables include celery, carrots, beets, spinach. One large stock of celery or one large carrot provides 50-50 mg of sodium. Red and gold beets offer around 65 mg of sodium per beet. One cup of sauteed spinach contains 125 mg of sodium that you might not need to add any more salt. The sodium obtained from these vegetables don't seem to raise blood pressure nor give dark circles under the eyes as table salt does. These vegetables offer you not only the healthy sodium but also provide you a ton of vitamins and minerals as well as enzymes and fiber. So it's a win-win situation all the way for your health and for your eyes. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please share it with your friends. Hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe.